Hey guys, what's going on? It's Yoanti, and today I'm bringing you an on-foot look of the Air Force One Mid. This is the flax colorway, or wheat, it's just easier to call them wheat, because, you know, Timberlands, wheat, that color, yeah. So here they go, I got them unstrapped right now. Actually, I don't want to have those little, the other things unstrapped either. I don't know what I'm doing, I'm all over the place. Uh, but, I gotta say, the comfort in these is awesome. Like, it's like pillows when you put your foot in here. Just like super soft, super supportive. The execution on these is awesome. The materials, the quality, everything about them, they absolutely dominated this shoe in such a good way. Uh, I think it looks so sick. Like this look here, and everyone's like, says like, oh, lumberjack or whatever, but I, I don't really, I love the way that looks. That's why it's like, when I wear like flannel and stuff, like I'm not trying to be a lumberjack or try, not trying to be a hipster. I'm just like, I love flannel shirts. I love having a beard. If that makes me a lumberjack, then I guess it does, but that's just things I like. You know what I mean? I love the, the look of wheat color sneakers with jeans in a flannel. I guess I am a lumberjack. I didn't, I never knew it. Uh, but I want to show you guys the shoes. It took me forever to get these, long process, but it was well worth the wait. Um, this is a size nine, and honestly, when, um, I had, uh, when I first was looking for a size, I thought I wanted eight and a half, but they fit a lot more snug than, because all my other Air Force Ones are size nine, and they fit a little big. So I thought I wanted to go half size down, but I actually, the true to size worked out perfect for me. So I would actually suggest true to size if you're looking uh, to pick these up. I had someone uh, on Instagram ask me if they thought they should pay resale. And, and normally I say no, but I'm like, on these, if you can find an, a, a good price, yeah, I, I would pay a little over retail. Uh, that's necessary sometimes, but but don't pay like crazy price. You know what I mean? Like it's it's a nice shoe and I, I think it's worth having, but don't go overboard. You know, you got to set a limit. Uh, I strapped them up so you can see what they look like strapped. Uh, I've got jeans on from Uniglo. Um, so yeah, there are certain shoes that I do think are worth paying uh, re a little over retail for and, and th this is one of those shoes. I think it's like an awesome shoe to have kind of in your collection. You can wear it, you know, all fall, all winter. So I uh, just want to bring you guys an on feet look. I'm going to wear them, I'm going to wear them, you know, it honestly depends. It depends on my mood if I want to wear them strapped or unstrapped. Um, if I'm feeling, you know, a little like, eh, a little more casual, I'll leave them uh, unstrapped and just kind of let them hang. But if I'm feeling a little like, you know, I don't want these secure today, then I'll, uh, I'll strap them up. But uh, as always, guys, thank you for watching. Hit that thumbs up button if you enjoyed the on feet video. And I'll talk to you tomorrow. Take care. Peace. Oh, I got to hit you with the, uh, the overhead view as well. The oh, 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 overhead view, 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 chicka, chicka, view, view. <laughs> um, yeah, they, uh, they, look, they look awesome from above. Uh, I love the little uh, black swooshes uh, right in the top of the, the toe box. So I'll give you guys one last close look before I sign out. All right, see you guys. Peace.